Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. This week, I had a very interesting conversation with a group of students and working professionals who had just joined their first jobs. And we were talking about various topics, but we ended up in bad mouthing the managers and the leaders that they see in front of them. And I was surprised that uh, many of them, including me when I was probably their age, thought of a leader and a manager in a certain light. And we tend to exalt these human beings. Uh, and when we see them in action, we are very disappointed. So I thought I will take this opportunity and focus this video on five myths that many of us have when we think of the word leaders. By the way, this word is huge. It's an ocean. I'm not an expert. I studied leadership from a perspective of oratory and communication. So I understand that space very well because it comes under the concept of charismatic leadership and transformational leaders. So I understand that space slightly, but I'm not an expert on the whole ocean of leadership. So I'm going to keep my views to my personal opinion and connect it to movies. And my only message to all of you who are in colleges and working in companies in your first job, my request to you is that please don't think of the leaders that you think that inspire you to be the reality of the life. I think leaders are very complex human beings. They are as human as you and me. So in this video, I'd like to talk about five myths that you should not have in the leaders that you work with. And the whole idea is that if you demystify this, your relationship with your own organization and the leaders that you're working with will get better. Because what I've heard from all the college students and the entry-level managers who are the future managers and leaders of the world, are they, they're totally disillusioned with their leaders. And rightly so. I mean, we need to have great leaders. They need to be at a higher standard. But the reality is that they are as human as any of us. And these five points, I think, are very important for all of you to know. I wish I had known these five points when I was your age. So I'm going to take the liberty of taking these five myths and demystifying them. And I'm going to quote a movie uh, for each of these points just to give a little bit of fun and more deeper insight into what they mean and how you can change your view on this. Here's myth number one. Myth number one is that leaders are selfless, uh, very virtuous. Uh, they should always do good. They are servant leaders. I found this in that conversation very inspiring uh, because there is a big article of servant leaders that I also have read. But the reality is far from the truth. I think if you look at all the leaders, uh, CEOs, politicians, uh, great leaders who inspire us, not everybody is virtuous and selfless. Uh, maybe far from it. And there was this lovely movie that I think I should talk about. This movie is a movie called Nayak. Nayak, the word itself means the leader. And it's a very famous movie. It was translated to Indian Hindi language as well. Uh, it had a vernacular uh, translation as well. The movie was about a city where there is a chief minister, highly corrupt and terrible. And uh, But he has a great media presence. And there is a journalist who is interviewing him. And the journalist is played by Anil Kapoor and the chief minister is played by Amrish Puri. And Anil Kapoor asks him very tough questions. And Amrish Puri says that if you think you can do a better job as a chief minister, become the chief minister for a day. And that's what happens. So the movie is about this classic good versus bad scenario of leadership. But if you look at the Amrish Puri character, which Amrish Puri plays so well, I think that is a complex leader, uh, in many ways completely selfish, but a chief minister, extremely power hungry, very corrupt, 
and that is probably the case with majority of leaders that we see around us they are not perfect and i'm not saying that they're all corrupt but i think we need to understand that movies like that talk about leadership and tell us that this is what it is and i hope we become better than them in fact if you look at uh, this famous book called the prince uh, written by machiavelli the whole concept of the book is not what a prince should do uh, in a ideological sense but in those days what a prince could have done and a very big part of that book is a lesson that the first job of a king or a prince or a leader is to protect their leadership that's their job number 1 and all of us in the student world because we read all these servant leadership and all these awesome articles that nobody cares we feel that the leader should be a servant and the answer is no the leader is not the servant the leader is focusing on how to protect their leadership as their job number 1 and in that we get demystified so myth number 1 leaders are virtuous servant leaders it is far from reality they are very complex human beings and i'd like you to recalibrate your definition of leadership because you'll become leaders some day and you should be virtuous but these are two different concepts and a very big part of leadership studies is to understand your job and also your leadership position and do something about it so that you don't become the abrish puris of the world you become the anil kapoors of the world so that's the hope but please demystify that there is nothing called servant leadership it's a great concept doesn't happen it's very complex i hope it happens but it's very very complex that's my first message to all of you second message leaders are strong and fearless this is very common i mean the whole concept of leadership is macho warriors and darne lagta hai jump and fight and solve the problems i think the 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 reality is far from it and uh, there is this marvelous series on netflix called the crown which is the story of queen elizabeth and it has four seasons and i encourage you to watch it it is one of the finest uh, adaptations of something which can be close to reality in a slight fictional scenario it has inspired by true events and it is absolutely wonderful and in the fourth season and this is a true story uh, a person breaks into the room of the queen can you believe that and it's a true story i mean there was a person who broke twice into buckingham palace once he had a bottle of wine and the queen was not there but the second time he entered the queen's bed chambers now he didn't attack or was didn't have any harmful intent he was jobless he was going through a lot so he wanted to go to the queen and complain that your politicians are not doing their job the economy is in in doldrums and i need help and it is such a delicate scene where the queen uh is scared to death but projects a very brave face because she knows that she has a duty to the crown that the crown can never be afraid so she projects this amazing performance and she's shivering inside and the guy is sitting right there like 2 feet from her bed and he could harm her but she is composed she looks brave and when this person is arrested and taken away she literally collapses on the chair and orders a cup of tea and she's trembling and my message to all of you is that if you think that leaders are are these amazing um superhuman and wonder women that's not true all hu- leaders are human beings they have the same emotions that any of us have they experience fear they are vulnerable they cry they hide it that's a different story but they are as human as any of you and me so please don't exalt them as super courageous people because that doesn't happen myth number 3 leaders don't make mistakes you know whenever you feel that leaders don't make mistakes watch this series called chernobyl i think it's there in hotstar or hbo spine chilling uh, series and uh, i have quoted it in few of my other videos as well 
um, and I've watched it two or three times. I've heard podcasts about how they made it. It is absolutely wonderfully made series. And if you look at Chernobyl, I think it should tell you that the smartest people can make the dumbest of mistakes. And Chernobyl is right there in front of us. It shouldn't have happened. Uh, finest of scientists and bureaucrats and uh, politicians made a blunder and it, it created a terrible situation for a country and people around that country. And thousands of lives even till now are impacted because of Chernobyl. And that series breaks down how that mistake happened. And in the final episode, I think it was the sixth episode, they all realized that it was nothing but a stupidity of three people. The entire thing could have been avoided, but because these three people made a dumb mistake for their whatever personal reasons and personal grains, which is always driven by some, uh, you know, greed and hunger for power to become a better leader, they killed so many people. And uh, that court case happened and it's a brutal chilling story of how stupidity can could result uh, in a devastating incident like Chernobyl. So if you think leaders don't mis make mistakes, please watch Chernobyl all over again. Myth number four, leaders know everything or are experts. They are super intelligent. <laughs> again, terrible myth. They are as human as you and me. There is this remarkable uh, movie called Don't Look Up uh, by Leonardo DiCaprio. I saw it and I was... I was really afraid of what we are ending up into. All of us know that the climate crisis is real. It can impact any second. It is already impacted right now and we don't even know about it. And this movie talks about the same thing, that there's a meteor coming right at Earth and the world's best scientists and leaders are coming together, but they do nothing because they have no clue what to do. And that's what I think uh, I'm worried about, that we are super intelligent. That's what we think. That's what all of you think, right? That all of us are super intelligent. But we have no clue how to resolve the reality of a climate crisis and many more crises that are all around us. If we were super intelligent, uh, the stock market would never fall this bad every day or cryptos would not come up and go down the next day. We should know how to handle it. There wouldn't be a war in Ukraine and, and people should not harm each other. We don't seem to learn from history. I think we don't know a lot of things. We claim that we know, we have degrees and accolades, but I think deep inside we still don't even know what we are doing. And this movie, Don't Look Up, is a chilling account of how despite knowing that a meteor is coming, that movie talks about how nothing could be done and everything is over. The earth collapses. So please watch this movie. And if you feel that leaders know everything and they're super intelligent, this movie should give you an answer. And the last one, leaders are super charismatic, gregarious, life of a party, extroverts, orators. Uh, I've heard this before. Uh, there is... Uh, there are many great orators who are also great leaders. They are very charismatic, but not all of them. In fact, this amazing movie called The King's Speech should demystify that for you. And it's a true story, again, inspired by true events where uh, Prince Albert, who becomes the king, uh, George VI, has to give a speech. And he is terribly afraid of speaking in front of an audience. So he stammers, he has a childhood issue, and a coach helps him. And he's not at all gregarious. He's not at all life of a party. He's a very humble person who suddenly becomes the king. And these movies should tell you that please don't exalt people and expect a lot uh, just because they're at a position and they are leaders. They're as human as you and me. And they are capable of making mistakes. They also don't know many things like you and me. They also have fears of speaking in front of audiences. And they're living their life just like how you and me. But they have a job to do. And I hope they do their job better because if we don't have great leaders, I think that don't look up scenario can happen any day. And I hope sense prevails and we save our planet because that's the only one we've got. Now, let me translate this to all of you who are students and young professionals. 
when you take up a job please don't herald your managers and leaders as people who have amazing selfless virtues and are servant leaders they are gregarious they are know it all super intelligent they don't make any mistakes these are all myths they are as ordinary as you and me so treat them with the right uh, attitude uh, this will also help you calibrate your expectations with them and give you the confidence of dealing with them the second thing is if you become a leader impose these things on yourself and i hope you do a better job than at least many of us in our generation who are failing that we are not there yet and i hope your generation has these great virtues that we want so so let me summarize these five myths all over again for you myth number 1 leaders are selfless servant leaders myth number 2 they are strong and fearless myth number 3 that they don't make mistakes myth number 4 that they know everything they're experts and super intelligent and myth number 5 they are super charismatic gregarious orators i think that's all a myth leaders are are complex complex personalities and all of you who are students and future managers i hope you become one or two of these uh, good qualities and inspire others to become better versions of themselves i think we all need good leaders what we see around us is not leadership and we all can do a better job so that we can give a better world to our children so with that take care of yourself stay safe